Welcome back to the Nokia Windsor Triathlon. Just look at this battle for the lead in the women's race. It's Lois Rossendale in the lead, but closing fast, catching with every stride, is Vanessa Raw from Loughborough. In the men's race, it's close too. Tom Bishop, Mark Threlfall and James Locke have been making a charge. They've been working really well together. Too well for the leaders who can't hold them off. Still a way to go though, and there's still time for the likes of Gavin Noble to have his say. It's one of those races where there's a lot of, a lot of guys who, who, who'll fancy their chances. I don't think there's anyone who's, um, who sticks out. Obviously Richard Stannard's here and he's won the race before. And uh, Martin's Olympian there, Mark Jenkins, obviously. If I look at him on the bike and I see that look in his eye and I know he wants to attack and you know I'm prepared to work on the bike, I'm pre prepared not to work and play the game. Yeah, it's one of those things, elite racing is uh, tactically, you have to be very aware and uh, that's what makes it uh, exciting. Right Mark Jenkins has been struggling to keep the leading pack working as a team, but now tactics really are coming into play. Who dare make the break? Who dare sit at the back? Well, Stephen Worthington from the Wakefield Club is playing it cool. He's happy to be on the tail. He was 55 seconds off the pace in the swim, but now he's making up for it. Last year I crashed out on the, towards the end of the bike. The year before I was away, I was um, in Korea, and then before that I was third so it was my, when I was third that was a big breakthrough result for me so it's a great course I really enjoy it.